Okay, sorry my phone cut off there. So yeah, I've been through the toolbox and it is now beginning to look a wee bit emptier. And we're just going to go through my love pile, as you would say, from the toolbox. The things that I think I deserve a mention. So starting off, little 12 inch bolt cutters, quite used, well used. Still got a lot of life in them yet for me. The pair of long screwdrivers, silly long screwdrivers. They were worth a shout, they're quite quite interesting. I don't have many sets of them. The snap-on half inch ratchet that's shoved down a steel pipe. I did find this knob here that looks like it has the end of a ratchet and whether that's been cut off which it has been but whether it's been cut off of that snap on if you could imagine that in here somewhere and then the chaps welded the handle so that you can well it would be that way so so you can spin the ratchet around even quicker I'm not sure next in the pile is this Teng Tools half inch ratchet. I'll need to get it worked. Another favourite is the Nipex Cobras. 12 inch, I believe, or is that 8 inch? Doesn't get it. It's next to a. Well, there's a. There's a 10 inch. There must be 10 inch, because there's a 10 inch buckle. Then onto that, the crafting um, circlet pliers, the Irwin vice grip chain wrench, 10 inch backhoe. I found another Ten Tools 3 8 ratchet. Really nice. All working. The Genuine Allen 8mm. Is it 8mm or 6mm? 8 mil, I think. A whole bunch of what I can only think they're called, if I remember right. I was calling them scaffolders, but a scaffolders one that is more with a podger on the end, like that style. That's more of a scaffolders, where you've got the 21 and the 19. Is it 21 and 19? 21 and 17, sorry. On the, on the wrench. And then we've got. Oh, so sorry. Back to them. So yeah, I would call these, I want to call them socket end spanners. Because you've got an open end spanner and then the socket on the other end. So a whole bunch of them, metric and imperial. Then we have got a matching set of 13mm Teng tools. A matching set of 10mm Teng tools. A matching set of 15mm Teng tools. A single 23 now, I haven't finished looking through the box, but I'm thinking everything else is in doubles. Unless a 23 wasn't as common. A matching set of 24 Tang tools. And yeah, again, a single 32mm Tang tools. And last but not least was this set of Spanish pipe wrench or Stilson's. Zubi, Zubiondos, Zubiondos. I did think they were quite a nice set until I realised they've been welded. Look at that. So they're not going to have the strength or power. Still do the job, but not that great. So yeah, basically out of that whole toolbox. Sorry, my phone's on charge here. Wait a minute. Um, out of that whole toolbox. That shot there, I would say, has got my favourites in it. As a value, see if it's made it's worth it. So basically, you've got 20 to 30 pound for the Stilsons. You've probably got 10 of each for the Spanners. When you get down to the little ones, well, they probably will be near a 10 of each. The Allen key, a couple of quid. 10 tools ratchet, must be 30 to 40 pound. 10 inch backhoe, must be... 20 to 40 pound 
These must be about 20 to 30 pound. Not sure on the value of them. Crafting tools, circuit adjustables, but we'll say 10 to 20 pounds. Nipex Cobras must be 40 pounds. Ten tools ratchet probably wasn't a lot in the day, but a ten tools half inch ratchet now you must be looking anywhere near 50 pounds. Same for the snap on, but obviously it's damaged. Set of long screwdrivers, 10 to 15, maybe 20 pounds. Bolt cutters, 10 to 20 pounds. And the set of socket ended spanners, probably a couple of pounds each, maybe more actually for some of the bigger ones, like there's a 21 mil. So yeah, basically, even if you counted it all at a 10 or a piece, you've got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1, 110, 120, 130, 140. So there's easily 150 pounds worth of tools here. And that's just the good ones that I've picked out. You've then got, obviously, the lumps of steel. We've got how many pairs of pliers? Let's do a count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 14 sets of pliers, two Stanley knives, Jubilee clip tool. We've got these, which are oxyacetylene, or I think you can use it on MIG welders as well, the clean out tool kit. There's two sets of them. BOC genuine set. We've then got this other half inch ratchet, two sets of tin snips, some screwdrivers, and chisel, set of welding mole grip. Then we have got, if you want to count all the mole grips, you've got one set, two set, three set, four set, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve sets of mole grips. You've then got a selection of punches and sockets and stuff that's still in that drawer. Some spanners still in that drawer. Some odds and ends sockets there. And another odds and sods drop there. Plus then you've got to include the toolbox itself, sorry, what do I want to do that? The toolbox itself is a, oh dear, is a genuine Kamasa tool, Great Britain tool chest. Yeah, it's not much, there's no keys for it, but still a tool chest. And there's the actual metal trolley itself, you know? It's got a three can holder, and it came with this oil can actually. That could be quite a rare. A rare piece, 300 mil oil can. If anyone can answer if that's a rare one or not, it doesn't appear to be any markings on that. But yeah, came with an oil can. That's my tin of relief fluid. So yeah, it's got a triple, triple can holder. Got a shelf, shelving unit in the bottom, and a handle. So yeah, all in all, I would say there'll be. Easily £200 worth of tools. Easily £200 worth of tools. And the toolbox itself has to be worth what I paid for it, £100. You couldn't, you couldn't buy a toolbox and build a trolley with casters for £100. So, yeah. I think that was... Oh, yeah, and there was the Sabotage Tank Tool 24mm. Spanner, plus a couple of podgers, another big screwdriver. So yeah, all in all, a good haul, I think. Stay tuned for the next one, and if there was any questions or you want a follow-up video, or if I try and find if I can get this snap-on 7110 ratchet out of the tube, or rebuild this Tang Tool ratchet, if you'd like a video on that, Give it a shout in the comments and stay tuned. Cheers.